Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to prove f of z is equal to cos hz is an analytic function and also we are going to find its derivative. Now, let us take the f of z. f of z is cos hz. We have a formula when we have cos i x that can be rewritten as cos hx. So, I am going to apply this in the reverse way. So, this will become cos iz. Now, z is x plus iy. So, f of z becomes cos of i into x plus iy. When we multiply i inside, it is going to become ix and i square is minus 1, i square is minus 1, so this is minus y. Now the next step, we are going to expand this using cos a minus b formula. Cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So, our f of z is going to become cos i x into cos y. Instead of a we have i x, instead of b we have y plus sin i x into sin y. Once again, we are going to use the formula cos i x is going to become cos h x and sin i x is going to become i sin h x. So, our f of z, f of z is u plus i b that will become cos h x into cos y plus i sin h x into sin y. Now, equating real part on both the sides, u is cos h x cos y and v is sin h x sin y. Now, let us find the partial derivative of u with respect to x. So, cos h x is sin h x, cos y is constant, it stay as it is. And partial derivative 2 with respect to y, cos hx is constant which is written as it is and cos y derivative is minus sin y and let us take the minus sign here. In the same way, vx sin hx becomes cos hx and sin y is a constant which is kept as it is and vy becomes sin hx is a constant which is kept as it is sin y becomes cos y. Now, we notice from this ux is equal to by. Both are sin hx into cos y. And again, we also notice uy is minus times of vx. Both are same term that is cos hx into sin y but they are of opposite sign. So, ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx. So, we can say CR equations satisfied. CR equations satisfied. And also ux, uy, vx and vy all are continuous. So, from this we can say f of z is analytic. And now we also want its derivative. So, f dash of z by formula ux plus i v x. Already we got ux here sin h x cos y. So, this is sin hx cos y 
plus i vx which is cos hx into sin y cos hx into sin y this is the f dash of z but this can be further simplified this can be written as sin ix into i and cos y is written as it is actually the sin hx formula already we have used here here so sin hx will be sin ix by i so you have to divide by i here by i and here i into cos hx it will be cos ix so cos ix into sin y but here when we have 1 by i we can multiply into i with both numerator and denominator this becomes i square minus 1 so i by minus 1 becomes minus i so this becomes minus i sin of ix into cos y plus i cos of ix into sin y we can take minus i or plus i common so when i take i common let's write the second term first that is sin y cos ix the second term i have written then minus cos y sin ix so this is once again sin a cos b minus cos a sin b so this can be written as sin of a minus b but again we can rearrange this term i into sin of when i is taken out this becomes y by i but as we discussed before we have to multiply with both numerator and denominator with the i and this becomes i square which is minus 1 so totally this becomes minus i y so minus i y and when i is taken out this becomes minus x so when i take the minus sign outside already there is i into minus 1 then we have sine of i into this become x plus i y and outside we have minus i then this entire term again already we discussed sine of i x becomes i sin h x so this entire term can be written as into i sin h of x plus i y and this is i square minus 1 already there is a mention plus 1 so sin h of x plus i y and we replace that with z so sin h z this is our f dash of z thus as per the question we proved it is analytic and also we found its derivative